What's up everyone, Kawaii Kuya here to react to Jay Chow's newest song, Greatest Works of Art. It has been so long since I've reacted to my one of my boys' songs. Uh, the last one I reacted to was the music video for Mojito. And that came out two years ago. It's been, yeah, it's been a really long time. Although, to be fair, he hasn't really... I don't think he really posted any new music ever since then, so. But it's understandable, I mean, considering the pandemic and all that. It, that that's probably one of the biggest reasons why. But yeah, anyways, we are here now to react to Mojito, to not the Mojito, greatest works of art. And for those who don't know, yes, I am related to Jay Cho. He is my uncle, sort of. Um, technically, he, he's not my uncle like in a traditional sense. He and my dad are cousins, but for lack of a better word, uh, me and my family just call him my uncle. Uncle Jay. Um, so, yeah, other than that, without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go, guys. Greatest works of art. Yeah, I did watch... I did get a peek of, like, a video he posted before this. Uh, yeah, he was in Paris. I knew, I knew he was in Paris doing stuff, but... Yeah, I guess it, he was uh, in Paris doing this music video. Oh, yeah, the piano. The piano. Oh, yeah, this is definitely gonna be... This is definitely not gonna be a, a song with Mojito. No, this is gonna be a lot more grounded, a lot more... A lot more serious, a lot more somber. It's five minutes long. It's basically... I'm pretty sure it's like a ballad or something. Oh. Creating magic around them. Bro, he is slaying that piano. Okay. Transition to a beat. Okay. God, he's doing magic. All kinds of magic. Oh my God, what is this? Dollar Store Dolly over here. Wait. I could be wrong. Was that? But was that supposed to be like some sort of time traveling gimmick? I think it was. I think that was like supposed to be some tra time traveling thing. Yeah, we saw the clock and then we saw Dali. Okay, I think I was wrong. I don't think this is that serious. Uh, I don't think it, this song is all that serious. I mean, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing it, but I'm just saying, like, the, the tone of this song is not at all what I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be some, like, won't cry type of song, but no, it isn't. It is beautiful, though. He's, usually, he's utilizing all different types of instruments. Now we're back to the piano. Oh, we got a piano duel over here. Bro, my boy is dripping. My boy Jay is dripping. Oh man. Look at this man. Look how clean his thing is. Look at me. I'm wearing the Under Armour t shirt. 
Yeah. Looks like it's from fucking Old Navy or something. Meanwhile, boy has got a hat. Maybe like a fedora. He's got a vest. He's got a dress shirt. He's in fucking Paris. Jesus turning water into wine, he's turning water into coffee. Oh shit. That's one of the guys we saw earlier. Woo, wow, that did not feel like five minutes at all, I must say. But yeah, overall, wow. I must say, yeah, this is pretty much a completely different song than the first two, the other two songs that I reacted to from him. Um, yeah, because Won't Cry, that was a bit of a more of a sad, emotional type of, like, slower type of song. Mojito, more of a party, feel-good vibe type of song. This, it's got violins, piano, it has all these, like, all different types of musical instruments. And, you know, it, it definitely makes sense as to why he chose to film in this in Paris. Um, because it, it, it got that, because Paris is obviously, you know, the architecture, the culture surrounding Paris, it's very beautiful. And it definitely fits well with the the overall, uh, how do I say this? The overall sound, like the theme this song is going for. So yeah, I must say, um, this is definitely a great work of art. And honestly, I think it is, it's absolutely great. It's absolutely amazing that um, Jade Chow, I mean, after reacting to, this, to, to like the, his past three songs, I must say, I think it's fair to say that Jay Cho, he is not bound to like a specific genre of music. He's definitely the type to experiment with different types of sounds, different types of, you know, genres, different types of instruments, different types of tones. Truly a man of many talents, a man of many ambitions. So yeah, uh, I definitely, overall, like I said, definitely enjoy this song. And I'm honestly looking forward to seeing what else he comes up with. Um, and also... Also, I hope I don't have to wait too long for his next song. I, hope, I really hope it doesn't have to turn out to another turn out to be another two-year wait. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support my Patreon links in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.